Hi everyone, this is Connie from Connie's Creative Creations. Today I'm taking part in an April Showers Bring May Flowers challenge, so let's get right into it. So I took this hard board and I used my white Adirondack chalk paint and I painted it white and now I am putting two coats of Folk Arts chalk paint in Tranquil um, Tide and that gives me a complete uh, coverage. You, there might be a little bit of differential in the colors, but not much. Not It's not going to matter. So once this is done, I'm going to set it aside and I am going to move on. And excuse me for the background uh, noise. My puppy is playing with his toy and he is having a ball. So um, you can hear that. I'm sorry. Okay, I, um, I went to my Cricut and I cut out... Um, uh, April showers bring May flowers, and then I also cut out uh, two boots standing next to each other. And I'm going ahead and I'm weeding that all, um, getting it ready to go on to the um, plat or the hardwood that I painted in that tranquil, tranquil teal. That's a hard word for me to say. So, um, Yes, if you are a subscriber of mine, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. But if you are new to my channel, please think about hitting that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps my channel grow so that I can continue bringing content. As well as hit that notification bell, click on all on the drop down menu. Give me a big old thumbs up and leave a comment if you'd like. I love reading and responding to them. So as you can see, I'm just working away at this. Um, I've had my Cricut for a little over a year, and I've finally got comfortable with it um, where I don't have any issues. I finally figured out my what works for me best type of thing. Um, I've seen other people weed differently, and I tried a lot of different ways. But when I mess up and don't do it this way, I completely fight with it. So here I am just finishing up the the two boots now what i'm going to be doing with okay so i'm putting the words down but the uh boots i'm using as a stencil now i had already i didn't think about the fact that i was putting it on a stencil and i should have switched over to my stencil vinyl but it works it's fine not a problem i could pull this right back up once i was done painting and it was not an issue at all so now that i'm just finishing up the last little bit of weeding then here i am with the um, board and of course i said it has white and then it has two uh coats of the folk art chalk paint in tranquil teal hey i did it that time awesome so i use peel and stick for my um, transfer tape for me that's what works and I'm just putting it on there and pulling it off and then I'm going to lay it down onto the hard board and then I'm going to put the, the lettering on there and like I said this has um, this is my way of doing it every everyone has their own way so try different things especially if you are struggling with your weeding or your transfer tape. I know there's some things that some people use that works for them, but this is what I have found. So I am taking a stipple brush and I am stippling um, red apple barrel paint on this. All the paints that I'm putting down on this chalkboard is um, apple barrel. So I'm just going to uh, put that red on there and then I'm going to pull it up now. I didn't wait too long In between and I ended up pulling a little bit of paint up But not much and it's an easy fix. So I'm just pulling this uh, vinyl off Going to weed the little sections after I dry it because I don't want to be pulling it up wet So I'm just now just going to pull those pieces Because I'm going to be painting on the inside of the boot a different color and so that's why I wanted the stencil on there I could have drawn it but I just chose to do the Cricut I was already doing something and I love this style of boots 
I used, reminds me of a pair I used to have and don't have any cowboy boots at all now, but I used to love wearing um, cowboy boots back, especially when I was a teenager and I was riding horses all the time. So I'm just uh, getting this all weeded and then we're going to put all of the um, wording down next to it and then we're going to move on to the next portion of this uh, project. And as you can see, I'm just fixing all the little lines that um, was messed up when I pulled up the vinyl and just getting all that done. There was a few more pieces of the vinyl that was left and now I am just going to um, go ahead and get the um, April showers bring May flowers. And here I am just finishing up all of the words, April showers bring May flowers. Now to this challenge, it was April showers bring May flowers and the host is Mary Beth from Mary MB Gray Designs. You can check out all the information, playlist and her link in my description. Let's get back to this. Now I've got orange, red, green, pink, and white on my palette, and I am going to be painting flowers because the showers bring the flowers. So I'm just going to be painting these. I'm going to be doing um, yellow and purple and pink flowers, and I will let you watch this um, as I do it. Now, none of these are actual flowers like you'd see in nature i mean i'm not i'm not what i'm saying is i'm not mimicking flowers i'm just creating flowers so i'm just going to put it like a bouquet of flowers growing right out of those uh water uh or out of those boots so i hope you guys enjoy this i really enjoy um painting and i know i've got this going kind of fast but I really wanted to um, get this all done. Now I do one coat and then I come back the next day and go over it because the paint was kind of thin in some of the colors and I wanted to give them uh, some more dimension and maybe a little bit more opaqueness. Now this is the next day where I am going to be adding some dimension to the um, flowers. And then I'm going to be painting the boots. So I'm just, like I said, I added some white in with the purple and I'm giving it dimension. And then I'll be doing the yellow and the pink as well just because um, I want it to look like they were popping off of the board instead of being flat on the board. So I hope you guys really enjoy this process.
and I decided to paint the um, boots a lighter a lighter purple the light purple that I put on the inside of the flowers and I'm just going to use a small paintbrush so that I get in between all the red lines so that I don't go over them but I did end up going over a few of them so I did go back with red and uh, realign those to make sure that they um, the lines were there And like I said earlier before, you'll want to go down to the description box. Down there will be Mary Beth's um, channel link as well as the playlist link and some other information. And you're going to want to check out the playlist. There's going to be some amazing other crafters that will be um, have their videos on it. Um, this community is an amazing community. We are all there for each other. And we help lift each other up and help each other through all of these processes. So, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. I know I only did the one project, but it was kind of time-consuming. It took me two days to get this project done, so I decided that it would be the only project. And you can see here I am going back over all the red lines to make sure that they stand out because some of the purple did get on it and I just wanted to make sure that they were sharp and just look amazing. So that's what I'm doing. Now I'm just finishing up some little details on this with the red as well as I add some more details on each one of the little flowers. I hope you guys have all enjoyed this um, plaque of the April shower show. Um, April showers bring May flowers, and um, I hope you guys like these. And like I said, don't forget to check out all the other videos. I think this turned out amazing, so you guys have the most blessed day. Don't forget to call somebody to tell them that they, you love them, because that might be exactly what they need to hear today. Also, don't forget to be the Bible that somebody reads today. Bye.